Look, we got another one here. I think this is mine. You, you were on the train. Well, you're all on the train. Yeah, we all were. I'm Finn. Silver. I'm Lewis, and this is Ethan. Um, I'm Ethan. We should check upstairs. seems to be here and we all woke up here and there was some kind of weird smoke yeah. and everything seems cloudy. Do you think we're close to the train station or something? I think you'll have your answer when you look through this window. Everything seems normal here. I'll just take this. I don't think you should just take that. Well, it's not like anyone's gonna care. Guys, I think I found our bags. It's not there. I left my phone right here. Guys, you gotta take a look. Only one escapes the town alive? Are you kidding me? Just calm down, it's probably just some joke who wrote it down. Just go check the kitchen or something.
We should send someone out to find people. I'm not staying here. If you meet anyone along the way, send them towards us. I don't get it. Why would someone leave us in his house? Probably someone with a shitty sense of humor. Maybe it's some sort of test. Put six people in a house and see how they react. That still doesn't explain the message. <clears throat> About that, I don't think we should take it that seriously to be honest. I mean, do you really think five people are gonna die if one guy leaves? Message again? Oh, it's a fucking finger. Not just any finger. What are you writing? All right, jeez. Finn's looking for you. Yeah, I actually took it out of the box. Yeah, I was thinking about that it could be a test. But, but, okay, so over, you have to promise me that you don't tell anyone about this. Yeah, sure, but what are you on about? I found a fingerprint on the note, but it doesn't match the one on the finger. Okay, but why only tell me? Someone of us could be responsible for what happened to Devin. I mean, we don't know any of these people. Someone could be a psycho. Hey, uh... Uh, somebody has a gun. Who, who has the gun? I just told you, someone has a gun. I'm gonna go to sleep. Where's Carter? I think he's upstairs. I know, I'm gonna check. Yeah, I don't think he's here anymore. I think I would remain standing after shooting someone. Fuck, man! We have to move on.
Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I just had to get out of the house for a minute. I checked downstairs this morning. The box is gone, so we're back to square one. I just want to get out of here. I mean, I have a life. I was on the train heading to university. It's a lot to lose. You know, Lewis and I were traveling together. A few years back, some friends and I were out in town. I was walking down the stairs, and I figured it was fun to throw a bottle, an empty bottle down the stairs into the huddle of people. And I hit Lewis. Tumbled down, hit his head. Woke up after two weeks of being in critical condition. My therapist told me to go on a trip with him, to connect, and write it all down in my journal. But that one beer throw just ruined his life, made him start over again. Doesn't he hold this against you? He did, but he thinks I learned from my time in Juvenile Hall. It seems like you have more to live for than I do. Guys, we have a problem. One of us is trying to kill everybody. One gets out alive. This is what the curse is about. Curse? It was a fucking message with no intrinsic value. Yes, and since then people have been dropping left and right. I'm not gonna be a sitting duck. What are you talking about? Don't play stupid with me, Silver. How do you know it wasn't you? All this talk going around about this being a test. You don't even seem suspicious about the people around you. Carter, I wasn't even there when Finn got shot. I was upstairs with Lewis. Oh, you were upstairs with Lewis, were you? Or are you guys playing this together? I wouldn't be surprised. You looked like faggy little shits the moment I woke up. Hey. Or was it you, Ethan? Didn't you learn enough in juvenile hall? How do you know about that? Oh, what? Did you really think I wouldn't read your precious diary? I'm not gonna stay here with people who literally lost their minds. Now, there's a one in three chance of me eliminating the killer. One, two, three. What about yourself? All right, I'll be four. I'll take the chance. If you throw five or six, we'll do it again. Like you're gonna shoot yourself. You'll just keep going until no one's left. Is that what you're thinking when you shot Finn? I didn't shoot Finn. You're not shooting me either. Bro, you grab the gun! Hey. Hey. Is he still in there? Yeah. I'm just gonna wait and see when he's ready to come out and talk about it. I think we should get out of here. Together. But the note said- I know, I know what the note said, but I've got a theory. I mean, think about it. We don't even know who shot Finn. We don't even know where Devon went. Maybe it's just an outsider who just wants to see us go crazy. Hell, it could even be Devon. We don't, I, as I said, we don't know where he went. Silver, be honest with yourself. I mean, ever since we got here, three people died. It is like we are cursed. I don't believe it. And even if it's true, 
If we walk out here at the same time, we will all have a 1 in 3 chance of surviving. But! I'd rather do that than stay here and lose my mind. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Lewis, open up, we're gonna go. Lewis, we're getting out of here. Lewis, come on. We're gonna put this all behind us. Open up. Jesus! What's going on? Lewis, open up, please, please. Where else will be a fucking geek? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, it's blood. Jesus Christ. In here? Lewis, open up, please. 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 Lewis, Ethan, Ethan, there's nothing we can do. What if I never feel that bottle? Do you really think we'd end up here? No, of course not, but we can't change the past. Yeah. Ethan. We're gonna get out of here. Let's just get our stuff, figure out where to go, and leave immediately. You're right. Good. Thanks. Hey, are you alright? Uh, yeah, sure. It's, I'm just gonna have to get it out of my head. That's it. Yeah. So I was thinking, maybe we should take the trail that runs through the woods, instead of taking the main road. Why? Well, it's really exposed out there, and you know what happened to Devon. Yeah, but won't it be more like isolated out there? I mean, if a car would be passing by and someone was trying to harm us, he wouldn't have to worry about that in the woods. Silver, we haven't seen one car pass by since we woke up. Right. What if I take the gun? To protect us. I checked the bathroom. It's not there anymore. Just like what happened to the box. What if I go out in town? To get some supplies? Yeah, okay, sure. Where are you going? Ethan. You were gonna leave without me? No, Ethan, I swear. I didn't want to go this way. I really didn't. Ethan, please, Ethan. Ethan, was it you? Did you shoot Finn? Come on, tell me. Tell me about Devon. What happened to him? I was afraid. I saw Devon run out on his own. I didn't know you sent him. I thought, on the window it said, only one gets out alive. And if he left, then he could be the, that person and we would all be dead. So I followed him. 
I took a gun with me that I found in the room where the bags were. I just wanted to defend myself, but Devin got angry with me. He started pushing me. I didn't know what to do, so I shot him. After that, I ran back to the house. What about the box? I don't know who sent it. I also don't know who cut off his finger and put it in there. But the note was torn from my journal. I had been writing in it about how we woke up. Then, when I was out in the garden, I overheard you and Finn. Heard Finn talking about a foreign fingerprint on the note. And I knew that it was mine. I tried to stay hidden, but Lewis saw me. I tried to tell him that he couldn't tell anyone that I had the gun. And Lewis, with his logic, told you that someone had a gun, but he didn't tell you it was me. I knew that even if he wanted to, he wasn't able to break the promise of not telling anyone. I panicked. I didn't know how to stop Finn from finding out the fingerprint was mine. So I ran in and shot him too. I heard Carter running in from the living room. So I ran back outside. Only to walk in again a few seconds later. I realized I didn't have the gun on me. But luckily, Carter picked it up and got most of the blame. I thought it would be smooth sailing from there. What about Lewis? Or were you planning on killing him? Kind of lucky that he took care of it himself, wasn't it? No. I was never planning to kill Lewis. He was the one who should get out alive. He deserved it a hundred times more than I did. I obliterated his future by one throw. Lewis. Instead, I would open up a future for him where he lives, but he shot himself. Ethan, we can both get out of here. I mean, think about my future. And more importantly, think about yours. My future? My future will be full of shit, Silver. The guy I had responsibility over fucking shot himself. Imagine what the police will think when I, an ex-convict, will be the only one who gets out alive. You're safe and sound in your fucking university with your A++ record. The police will be drooling over whatever you confide to them. The only thing they will do to me is lock me up and throw away the key. Both of us should be dead by now and Lou should be the one walking out. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs>